Hey guys, it's Max here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about powering your entire home using solar generators. It's only until recently that portable power stations or solar generators have become big enough that you can use them to power your entire home. The piece that was missing from solar generators was a way to get split phase output or 240 volts output from solar generators that is needed if you want to be able to power your entire home. I've got beside me two different ways to connect solar generators into your home and get 240 volts output. Both of these units are from EcoFlow and I'm going to use both of these units to demonstrate how you can actually get 240 volt connected into your home and power your home with solar generators. There are other brands that do it as well. We've got High Solus, we've got Zender, we've got Blue Eddy. No matter the company, they're gonna use one of these two type of options here in order to power your home with solar generators. We're gonna cover everything you need to know in this video, including how to actually get this done if you wanna install something like this in your home. I'm gonna timestamp the bottom of the video as well so you can hop through the specific parts you wanna know more about. So I'm not gonna get into the weeds here explaining split phase. Uh, 120 or 240. If you want to learn more about that, I'm going to link below to our flagship training, uh, the DIY Solar Essentials. So if you want to learn more about that, you can check that out there. The easiest way to think about split phase output when it comes to solar generators is that you need two generators if you want to get split phase output. Split phase output requires two legs. One leg, one leg combined together to get 240 volts. Both of these units here are different ways of combining two generators together to get your split phase output. Regardless of the brand, they're gonna have a product like this or a product like this that connects two of the power stations together so that you can get your split phase output. Things that generally require split phase output are like your HVAC system, your dryer, your oven, also, if you're looking around the house, anything that has kind of not the standard household plug, but a bigger kind of beefier plug, like behind your dryer or your oven, those are generally gonna be your 240 volt appliances. So if you wanna back up or power your entire home, you're gonna to need to be able to connect into your home's main electrical panel. The way to do that is through a transfer switch. Most people are actually already familiar with what a transfer switch is. Yourself or your parents or neighbors, grandparents, you might know somebody that when the power goes out, they go and fire up their big, loud gas or diesel generator and they're able to power their home. Well, if you've ever seen that, what those people do is they will go and they'll take, they'll take a 30 amp cable like this and they'll plug one end into their gas or their diesel generator. The other end will go into a little switch on the side of their home. And then that gas or that diesel generator is powering their whole home that way. Now, if you already have a transfer switch on your home, then this right here is gonna be what you're gonna need to use. EcoFlow calls this unit a double voltage hub. Blue Eddy or High Solus or Zender, they'll call it something else. However, what this does is connect two solar generators together It'll have a 30 amp plug on the front of this unit, which will get you your 240 volts out. And then you go from this unit here into your existing transfer switch. This will be the cheapest and the easiest way to use solar generators to power your home. If you already have a transfer switch, then something like this is all you're gonna need. If you're somebody that doesn't wanna to have to go and connect to a transfer switch every single time the power goes out, or if you don't have a transfer switch installed already and you're interested in backing up your home, then something like this is what's probably gonna interest you. And this is probably the investment that you're gonna to wanna to make. EcoFlow calls this the smart home panel. I actually believe Blue Eddy calls their similar unit a smart home panel as well. Um, High Solus and Zender, they'll, they'll have a name for it as well. But this is essentially a transfer switch on steroids. The cool thing about this is the grid doesn't have to go out in order to use this. So if we open this up, we can see that there's 10 circuits here that we're able to control. So what you do is you'll connect this to your main home electrical panel and you'll take 10 circuits from that and run them through this here. There's two benefits to this. One is that you're able to power these 10 circuits in your home, essentially with an off-grid system. You can take your two generators, expansion battery, the complete kit. And again, we've got full kits with all the parts and pieces that you need, but you can connect to this and be running those 10 circuits 
no problem. So a lot of customers, a lot of people, what they do is they'll take, you know, fridge, freezer, Wi-Fi, whatever the heck they want, and just be powering these things off of essentially their off-grid system. If the grid does go down, if there is a storm, if PG&E is shutting off your power, whatever happens, if the grid goes down, those 10 circuits you have connected here are not affected. You kind of skip the step, right, of having to go and connect to the generators and run through the transfer switch. This just automatically does it all already. That's why these kind of units are becoming so popular. So these are the two most popular ways to back up your home with solar generators. Obviously, if you already have a transfer switch, this is the way you're going to want to go. Straightforward, dead simple, anybody can do it. People get a little more freaked out when looking at a system like this. However, all you need to do is hire an electrician to install this and you're off to the races. We've got videos and support and a team that can help you set up the rest of the system, which literally anybody can do. The part that you're gonna to need to hire out is an electrician to install this. It really shouldn't take them much more than four hours to do. Um, maybe if you have a really difficult basement and you're needing to run a bunch of conduit, it can take more than four hours, but Four hours is a good estimate um, to get this installed and you're off to the races. If you have any questions, you have any concerns, give us a shout. I'll also leave links below if you wanna check out more information as well as links to kits that have every part and piece you're gonna need if you wanna set up a system like this yourself.